Many of the functions and settings of the imager can be changed by pressing function key 4 to select the seven menus seen here. Use the navigation keys and then press function key 3 to select the required option. The highlighted item will have a yellow box around it. Then use the up-down navigation keys to move in the selected list and the left-right keys to change values and options for the specific item. Press function key 4 to exit or function key 1 to go back to the previous menu. Emissivity values can be changed to compensate for the reflective energy of a wide range of materials. For maximum accuracy, set emissivity by pressing function key 3 for a table of values. Then look up the material under inspection and make your selection using the up-down navigation keys. For an extended list of values, refer to Appendix A1 in the user manual. Then use function key 1 to go back to the menu. Adjust the settings using the left-right navigation keys. The color palette for the display can be adjusted to eight different types here. The reflected temperature is usually set to the ambient or room temperature and applies only when an emissivity less than 1 is selected. You can choose between centigrade or Fahrenheit scales. You can adjust for the trade-off between display speed and noise from 1 fast to 9 slow. And interpolation that shows or hides the thermal image pixelation. The next menu enables the selection of options for measuring temperature. Remember, the first three measurement options are mutually exclusive, so that if one is selected, the other two are disabled. The default setting provides two tracking cursors for high and low temperatures. You can change to one or two cursors that can be moved around the image area using the navigation keys. The tracking selection can choose high, low, or high-low, which is the default setting, in order to track and measure the hottest, coldest, or both points in the image displayed. If area is selected, the highest, lowest, and average temperatures within the designated area are displayed. Three different sized area boxes can be chosen using the up-down or right-left navigation keys. The isotherms function allows the selection of one or two temperature bands to show a two-color only representation of temperatures and the display of high, low, or high-low readings. Use function key 1 and the navigation keys to adjust the temperature bands. The temperature profile function enables a vertical or horizontal histogram of temperature values across the imaged area to be displayed on the right-hand side of the screen. The position of the cross-section is indicated by the small arrows and can be adjusted using function key 1 and the navigation keys. The last selection in this menu allows the selection of high, low, or high-low visual and audio alarms to be triggered if either cursor or a point within the designated area is higher or lower than a set temperature. You use function key 1 and the navigation keys to adjust the temperature settings.
The LCD screen brightness can be adjusted from 1 low to 9 high from this menu. Select On to enable the addition of a text caption when saving an image. Select Off to disable text captions. When saving an image with caption mode on, you will see the following messages at the bottom of the screen. Use Function Key 3 to select Yes. Then, use the up-down navigation keys to cycle through the letters and numbers. After each choice, use the right navigation key to move to the next space. When you've finished the caption, press Function Key 4 to exit and save the image and caption. Captions can be viewed with the saved images using the provided PC software only. With the next menu item, you can select 5, 10, or 20 minutes to allow the camera to switch itself off after the defined period of inactivity to save power, or you can select Always On. The Reset function is selected with Function Key 3 and restores the unit to the factory default settings. Use this selection to turn sound on or off for the imager. Voice Annotation gives you the choice to add a voice message to each individual image, for an entire session of images, both individual and session combined, or off. If session is selected, press Function Key 3 to start and stop the voice recording that will be attached to all the images gathered during the session. Use Function Key 2 to play back the recorded message. You can re-record by pressing Function Key 3 if necessary. The session ends by selecting Individual, Off, or when the imager is switched off. To add a common voice message at the start of a set of images and add additional comments for each individual image saved, select the Combined setting. The Voice Playback setting toggles between speaker or headset for audio playback. And the volume for both can be set from 1 to 9 for loudness. In this menu, the saved images are shown on the display with the most recently saved image first. You select the desired image using the navigation keys. To display the selected image, press Function Key 3. To delete the image, press Function Key 2 and then Confirm Deletion with Function Key 3. When a stored image is displayed, press Function Key 3 to return to Live Imaging Mode. In this menu, use the left-right navigation keys until the item you wish to change is highlighted in red. Then, use the up-down keys to change the value for that item. The last of the menus allows you to select one of the nine language settings. Use the navigation keys to highlight the preferred language icon, then press Function Key 3 to select.
and the chosen language will be activated on screen. You can access additional product information and data by opening the Reference Materials folder on this DVD. For additional information, please use our toll-free technical hotline or visit the website.